most devastated, not happy. And they're off. And they got away to a good beginning. American Dream commits straight away, but forced to work. Asos, my boy Risi, at the opera, all in there. Kapuzina is three deep the outside, but American Dream now allowed to slide on by. King of Love is midfield, the orange blinkers, then a length away to Mingxi. After them to Prince of Heaven, Izzy Estia is in the green. A few lengths away to Douglas Devastator and Ul McVar. They race the end of the field through the final 1,400 metres, and American Dream is in front by one length. Over at the opera, who got into second, my boy Risi is back at the rail third and about two lengths off the leader, then comes Esos a further half length away. Two back to Kapuzna, King of Love. They together, they midfield, the front four stretching out. Then a further length away to Mingxi, that's in the pink and blue. After them to Prince of Heaven, Izzy Estia races with two behind. And Douglas Devastator and Ul McVar have been together from the word go with 900 metres left to run. They threw the halfway stage. And American Dream controls the gallop by a little over one length at the opera, racing away in second. Then comes my boy Risi, black sleeves and cap at the rail third. Further back to Esos, two lengths away to King of Love and then comes Kapuzina and they race a good six lengths off the leader. Mingxi is starting to get urgent and working a bit closer but three deep to do so. Two lengths away to Prince of Heaven, Izzy Estia being squeezed along. Al Migvar also getting a move on and Douglas Devastator has dropped to the rear of the field with 500 metres left to run and American Dream brings them into the home straight going rather well. If over at the Opera who races away in second. Esos far side is third. My boy Risi didn't find anything. Then comes Mingxi trying to chase down towards the outside. American Dream looks to have run its race and Mingxi near as does. Comes forward to join Esos. Esos in front. Mingxi a length away and trying to get on turns but Esos continues to run. Esos the winner over Mingxi in second. Ul McVar runs third and American Dream was back and forth. It's in the red and green colours. Wound up at the top of the straight. Mingxi always looked rather dangerous towards the right-hand side. He, he had a hope of, of getting there 200 metres out, but Esos just refused to let it and kept stretching clear of Mingxi over the closing stages. Like I mentioned, El Migvar, probably the best finisher of the race, finishing third. He was off the bit at the top of the straight, but still managed to run past a few. But uh, at the end of it all, winner of race five is number eight, Esos. Well, it's the Zitzman Oerstes in Yard in the winner's box as Essos comes through to take victory under Charles and Glovu. And I've got Yanaman joining me here. And uh, Yanaman is going to be ex accepting the World Sports Betting 1500 Rand Grooms check on behalf of Coach, who's busy looking after his champion at the moment. So, Yanaman, thanks very much. A uh, fantastic initiative, as we said, by World Sports Betting, and I'm sure Coach is going to be very grateful for the extra added to the win. And Charles, I'm really, really excited to have you in the winner's box. I picked this guy some value. I know that last time out you were very impressed with his run from a wide draw, and you've, you've delivered the goods. You said, give me the ride, I'll bring, I'll bring home the winner, and here you are. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Nadine. Thank you very much, Mr. Zitz and your team. You know, it pleases me to see, I still got the touch, I still got the feel <laughs> of horses. It's still there. But when I got off this was last time, I was drawn wide over 1600. 16 is the most difficult race you can get on a yep. poly. And I think I gave him a pail off a ride. And uh, I said, Mr. Zitz, next time, leave me on this horses. And there was a couple of rides going in this race, but I stick to my guts. And uh, yeah, sorry guys, whoever was offering me a ride, I couldn't ride. But trust me, if I wasn't on this horse, I was on the other horse, I was still gonna win this race because <laughs> I, I know all these horses. <laughs> I'm loving this confidence, Charles, I really am. We're not going to put you in a tough spot and ask you about the other horses, but you've got to tell us a bit about this Essos, because last time out he ran on so well, and I thought you'd give him a similar ride, but this time you elected to sit up with the pace. You know, um, it's such a big horse. Last time, every joke he was saying, yo, Charlie, how big is your horse? And I actually, I was nervous on him, but I don't know what I've ridden big horses before. And this time I was drawn to and I've, I've had a couple of rides earlier and the pole is kicking up. And I thought, you know what, up there. That's um, a place to be. Mm. And 
I got out, my stable companion came over. The race was very well planned for us. And we, he pulled me through nicely into the straights. And this horse was just unwinding so nicely. All credit to Mr. Zitz for keeping this horse so sound. I've worked him on a track yeah. and he's a, he's a nice mover. Well done to Mr. Zitz and his team. Well, congratulations, Charles. I think you've done a fantastic job. It's one thing to ask for the ride back, but this is how you say thank you. You found the winner's box with it. Well done. Thank you very much. I just want to say happy birthday to Mrs. Suzette Falun. Of course. Yes. Uh, thank you for the ride earlier. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't perform, but we look forward to the future and may she have a good day. And my sponsor, thank you very much, winning for my two daughters at home. Thank you for the support, parents at home. You know, everybody that's behind me, I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Brilliant, Charles. Congratulations. Cheers. <laughs> and with that, Zitzman's going to join me. I'm going to say a big thank you to you, Zitzman, as well. You do... On the Wednesdays, you chat to me this week, it was Tuesday, you got in early, but the information is always there, and Esos is a horse, you said, keep your eyes on him. Might not look it on paper, but he'll be there, and you were spot on. Yeah, no, you know, he's, he's, must say first, thank you to Suzette for, they, they had it on online sale. Yes. Nobody wanted the horse. Said, please, let me lease it. They leased oh, it to me, so, Suzette, well done, <laughs> you're getting a cut. <laughs> well done with your birthday. Um, hope you had a fantastic day, Suzette. Baas, he spoil you. Um, we nog two runners for the day. Um, it is an unconditional love, beckoning beauty. I really, really want to win a race for Suzette today. Um, well done to her for her birthday. Um, Charlie wrote the pillar. He did. Um, you know, well done to you, your value <laughs> bet. First time, you know, normally I scream, I don't hear nobody scream. And <laughs> first time I heard you scream <laughs> at one of my walls, I thought, uh, what's happening with you? <laughs> so, well done to you. Um, to whoever punted the horse from 16 to 1 into 6 to 1 before my the race gosh. I saw. I wish that was me. <laughs> so somebody listened to you because I never gave said somebody, you know, I had a little tickle on him, but uh, not that, that money. And uh, I said to the other one, showed me before the race his price and I said, you know, I don't mind whoever punted him as long as Charlie arrived. I don't have to say much. I just said, Charlie, you know the horse, go win the race. And yeah, Brilliant win. Thank you, Charlie. Sorry, Gavin Fenter. Um, you know, for it's, it, he was supposed yeah. to write for Gavin as well. But I went to Alan even and asked last week and said, you know, I would need Charlie for yeah. this race. He knows the horse. I really need him for the race. So, well done. Lekker win. Oh, Esos. Canon donkey. But... You have a win. <laughs> you certainly do. Very well to Zitzman Earth Day. is an always awesome when a plan comes together. And uh, Charlie and Flor will definitely not underestimating or, or talking him down the size of this horse. He is absolutely massive. But, uh, yep, they're all pretty in the winner's box. And Esos, that's where he is today. He looked gorgeous. Well done, Charlie. Well done to Zitzman. And, uh, of course, on that note as well, a huge, huge happy birthday from all of us at Fairview Racecourse to you, Suzette Fillion.